physical addiction. What he is doing exercise, he's using different muscles, using his flippers, things like that. So this is a great way of getting him moving around. Sea lions are notoriously lazy animals. They would sleep all day if we let them. So this is why training is brilliant. Now Callum's great in the water as well. So we can ask him to do some little jumps in and out of the water. So this is actually called paw poising. And it's great for working out Callum's chest muscles. It's actually a natural behaviour that sea lions would do in the wild. It helps them get up to speeds of about 25 miles an hour. Now the only reason why sea lions would really have to go that fast is one, if they're hungry, or two, if something wants to eat you, Callum! I know, terrifying. Now, I bet you're thinking what on earth would want to eat a 30 stone sea lion? Well, there are creatures out there in the deep working. Creatures like this. <laughs> so sharks and killer whales would unfortunately try and eat. Lions. Now back at the Callum, we don't really have any sharks in our water and that was quite a slow moving shark but let's just make sure that he didn't bite his bum, is his bum okay? He's fine, he has a drink Now a great way to avoid sharks actually does involve a little bit more exercise because sea lions are quite good on the land, you know, climbing, things like that. So for example, if they headed up a really big tower, a shark wouldn't be able to get them up to him, would it? So why don't we send Carlo Powers and then he can jump up and it'll be amazing! What, what's wrong? <laughs> so, Carlo has just told Vicky that he's not going to go up the tower and jump in because he's just seen a shark in the water and he's scared everyone. You know this sea lion, you're a chicken! Now watch this Vicky. Do you want to see him jump off the tower?